Hello. Hello. So here we are, another new venue for us. It's uh, where are we today? We're we're on the train. So um, we've we've just been to see. Oh, people, people coming by. Asked. There we go. Hello, lovely to see you. Thanks for coming. We've just been to see Showstoppers, which is back to front. That's interesting. Um, look at it in a mirror. That will be fine. Uh, which is an improvised uh, musical. And uh, what did we learn, Paul? Uh, we learned that improvisation is very clever and very difficult. What it is when you're singing, they sing it's a lot more difficult when you're singing, we discovered. And lots, of, lots of harmonies. But also, they had improvised improvisers on the lighting and they had a band who were improvising at the same time. And, and on sound as well. Sound. Bringing uh, mics on and off at the right time. Which we don't have. Uh, so I think we, we can have our work cut out for us. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, what's the, what's the point in doing something if you know you can do it? Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> so, sorry, someone else coming by. Nice view up my nose. There we go, sorry about that, it's people there, that's all. <laughs> Can't do anything good. about it. No, it's cool. So, um, just for those who are joining us, welcome. Um, one of the tricks that we are going to be doing in Pip and Paul is uh, hopefully going to be an improvised trick. And so we are immersing ourselves in improvisation currently. So we're going to lessons, or classes I should say, on a Wednesday, which we did uh, just a couple of days ago. Yep. And here we are going to see Showstoppers. And uh, we brought um, some beautiful people with us. There's there's, there's Kat down here. Would That's you like to wife. see Kat? I don't know how uh, I can probably, do that here. Um, you could probably just turn it around. Okay, right, hang on one second. Sorry about my hand. Howdy. There's Kat and my sister who's, oh, who's disappeared. Okay, she's somewhere over there I don't know where uh, so for the magicians watching you might be wondering how we're going to improvise magic um, I think what we're going to do is have eight tricks six tricks eight tricks and understand the shape of those tricks in terms of a start a middle and an end um, obviously there's some mechanics that go with it uh, and whichever direction the improv is going we're going to look at what tricks fit that structure so for instance Professor's Nightmare, we know that three different things turn into three similar things which turn into a different thing, possibly, which turn back into three similar things which can turn back into three different things. <laughs> and, and it's simple plot lines like that <laughs> that we're looking to encompass so that it allows us to, to play with the trick and the, the improvisation. So the concept of something appearing somewhere impossible or disappearing from one place and going to another place. Uh, and that how was we can... much better said. Yeah, thanks. You might want to cut the first one. Or that leave was... it in if you want me to look stupid. That was so much better than your first attempt. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit... I'm still a little bit frightened. I, I think I've said in previous episodes, the improv bit's the bit that makes me go, Ugh, a little bit. Which is, which is bizarre because... Put your fingers in your ears. Which is bizarre because when we were at um, the class on Wednesday, Paul was really, really good at it. Uh, right, you can come about now. Thanks very much. Um, I've just realised he's probably going to watch this, so he'll know then, that's fine. I never watch them. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah. I don't, have we got anything else to say at the moment? Um, I'm away, I'm, I'm away, so uh, I don't know what we're going to do You're not away week. now, although you are when this is released. Yes. So oh, I, hang on, what's that? Clapham Junction. Clapham Junction, that's fine. We're not, we're not getting off at Clapham Junction. So I don't know how next week's... This one you're watching. I don't quite know how we're going to finish this off, uh, but it'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah. And I hope you're having a lovely time in France, Paul. Thanks very much, Pip. Um, sunning yourself. And uh, are you taking your wife, or is it a pleasure trip? <laughs> oh, I forgot she's there. Sorry. <laughs> Should have seen her. Face. Ow! Get off! <laughs> she's violent, your wife. That's why I married her. Oh, look, another person come by. Thank you for coming. Do come again. <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know how the rest of this Sorry, there's another one coming. Here we go, look. Right, this is, well, it's... This is the middle of a train, I guess. That's the problem. Uh, Pippandpaul.com <laughs> <laughs> um, So tonight we can say we were we got a shout-out on stage. In actual fact, it wasn't... Yeah, Pip and Paul did actually get a shout-out. Yeah, we did. That's very true. Live on um, stage tonight? Pip and Paul show was mentioned on the, on the stage tonight. And uh, it, the, the whole show was based on an idea from... Um, uh, from, from Paul, in actual fact. Um, so I can person. now say that uh, I've come up with an idea that reached the West End as a musical. Yeah. Um, and tell everyone what your musical idea was. Uh, they, they had to create a musical based on a school for Bond villains. 
Uh, which works well. I thought they did a bloody good job. And it was called? It was called Bondage. <laughs> it was called Bondage. <laughs> yeah. That there wasn't my go. idea. That so if you go and see Showstoppers tomorrow, which you won't be able to because you wouldn't have seen this video, uh, they'll be talking about tonight's performance tomorrow to let you know what sort of uh, structure they had and how the show went. That made sense in my head. It's getting very confusing. Cat's, cat's banging her head against the back of the seat in front. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, we love you all. And well, most we'll, of you. You know, well, you know <laughs> the, the one person we don't love, you know. Um, you're talking about John again. He's going to get a complex, <laughs> poor chap. I like you, Actually, John. Actually, John, you left a lovely message for us. We, right, we should do a shout-out corner. Okay, so we do have a couple of shout-outs, natural fact. Rob. We have uh, Rob James, who, who left a message for me and uh, said that uh, he was really enjoying it. So thank you for that, Rob. That was really thank, kind of you. Yeah, that's really kind. Thanks so much, Rob. Uh, we also got another message from Rodney Piper. Uh, from Spain, he's got a fantastic venue out there, Chaplains. Go, go, and if you're ever in Spain, go visit, it's, it's amazing, it's fantastic. Uh, so that's Rodney Piper, thanks again for watching. Thank you, Rodney. Um, John has left a fa fabulous message for us on YouTube, which I am um, actually I found really good. It's difficult sometimes when you're doing this to know what people are getting out of it, um, because sometimes to me it just feels like aimless chatter, but uh, but it, apparently, and, and funny enough. When you're talking, Paul, it, it feels like that to me sometimes as well. Strange. A little, like a little bit earlier when you were talking about Professor's Nightmare. That's, Don't um, give it away. Sorry. Well, you just said it earlier. I didn't say... Oh, okay. Um, but John gave us some feedback and said what he's getting out of it, and that actually has helped me quite a lot understand what it is uh, you want out of this. So um, if anyone else wants to And if you want to see to his comment, then you'll have to go and search it out on YouTube. Yes. Very because good. Uh, you can then leave a message below and agree or disagree. Very good. Um, so um, I think I think we'll do just a short one. Unless you've got anyone else you need to talk to or well, say I, anything about. I don't think we said. I don't think we gave enough of a shout out to Andy Clockwise. See now, Andy Clockwise, comic genius that he is, uh, we we are really grateful to him. Um, he uh, just to put it in context a little bit. Um, he came up to us at Kidology, yes. strangely enough, and, and said, I've got a great jingle for you. And he sang it to us just before I was about to go on. So I, I went on, I was laughing away at his jingle, not at what I was doing. Um, and we saw him at the Magic Circle on Monday and we thought, you know what, it would be lovely to actually get it on film. And so we asked him and he very kindly said yes. Enough. Um, and uh, so that's what you saw in the last video. Can I just say, if you ever get a chance to sing Andy Clockwise work, you will see one of the most brilliant and anarchic and wildly funny acts. He, uh, he is great. You never know what's coming next, but whatever great. it is, it's geniusly funny. And in fact, he does a bit of improvisation in the show, in actual yeah, fact. It's, it, a lot of the show is sort of yeah, um, just working off reactions and things that happen. We saw uh, a show that he was in recently, and he had a particularly troublesome child. It was a show for real people, as in adults, and it was a sort of comedy club type type venue, uh, but because it was because it was summer holidays, we had uh, we had children there as well. And there was one particular child who came up on stage and started playing with his stuff, which was, and he dealt Uninvited. with it. He dealt with it brilliantly. Yeah. Uh, so big shout out to Andy. Um, John Conway did a great comment for us. I th no, I think that's it from me, Rob James. Okay. Um, so thank you very much, everyone. And we need to stop now because my arm is absolutely aching holding this camera look see look I've got a long arm look at those muscles yeah so until we uh, until next uh, time that we meet it's goodbye from oh, oh, oh wait sorry sorry you can subscribe here <laughs> and just here is our social media I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess there yeah you're gonna guess well again so until we meet next time it's goodbye from Pip it's goodbye from Paul goodbye Bye.